Hello, welcome to APV News. I am Emily Romero. And I am Evelyn Ramirez. Thank you for joining us. For news today, we have recycling at APV, a food change in APV, and lastly, APV sports. We are going to start off with recycling at APV with Natania and Kiara Perez. Take it away, girls. Hello, APV students. My name is Natania, and this is my friend, Kiara. Today, we had a chance to talk to our teacher about why they think we should implement a recycling program. Implementing a recycling program across APV will benefit the science department because it will help students make a connection between renewable and non-renewable resources. We also asked Ms. Lopez what the benefits of having a recycling program is. The benefits students will receive is that they will learn to be responsible. They will have a knowledge of how they affect or protect our environments. We also had a chance to talk to Mr. Delgado about why we don't have a recycling program. We don't have a recycling program because the trash company that we currently use does not provide us with a recycling bin. However, we can start small here at the school and then grow into something a lot larger with the proper company. Thank you, Mr. Legala, and let's keep our fingers crossed for a recycling program in the future. Now for our next story, Michael Gonzalez and Ariana Lopez will be talking about the new food changes at APV. Take it away, guys. This year, APV changed our lunch providers and opinions about the new food company have been mixed. We spoke to Ms. Alvarez on, on how she thinks the students will like the new food company. I think they like this food from this new company, uh, but some of the students say they um, miss the other, the other food from the other company. I also asked her if she felt that this year's food program was easier to prepare. It still is the same process, but everything depends on the person who prepared, who prepared the meal. But everything is almost the same of last year. Thank you, Ms. Alvarez. It seems that the new nudge program will make the, the, the students at APV happier. Back, Back to, to you, girls. girls. Finally, Eric Morales and David Moran will be talking about APV's amazing sport program. What can you tell us, guys? Thank you, Emily. Today we had a chance to speak with Coach Avery about his experience coaching at APV so far. Well, it is a great opportunity coaching at APV, being able just to change a kid's life and just cause a, a positive impact. We also asked him how the FRAC football team did this year and what improvements they can make for next year. Uh, this year for flag football, we only won one game, but uh, we're focusing improvements for next year team, just uh, having a more variety of uh, kids come out as well as starting the uh, season on time. We had a, a, a late start off uh, due to Hurricane Harvey, but next year it will uh, be a lot better. Finally, Coach A.V. told us what goals he has for next year for flag football team. Our goal for flag football next year is just to uh, just be a little bit more advanced and, and work on catching a lot more because that's something, uh, one of our downfalls this year was catching. So by the time next year comes around, we should be uh, ready. Thank you, Coach Avery. Back to you, girls. Thank you for joining us today here at APV News. And remember, teachers, children are the future. Teach them well and let them lead the way.